Um, my name is Ann Rashford. I'm director of temporary exhibits um, here at the Museum of Science and Industry. And the museum has built a fully functioning 2,500 square foot home. And it was important to the museum that the home was a fully functioning home and not a prop house. And some of the finishes um, that you'll see in the home are dual flush toilets. Um, we also have Epe siding, which is a sustainable wood source that rapidly replenishes itself. Also, we have um, cement on the sides of the house that never needs to be painted. Once you install them, they're good. Um, they will last forever. We have three different options of countertops throughout the house okay, great. as well. Now, you, you were telling me a little bit before about how um, you were inspired to install this exhibit um, because you, you, you saw some of Michelle Kaufman, uh, some of her work at the Smithsonian in Washington. Uh, you want to tell me a little bit about that? Sure. We actually um, went to the Smithsonian, the Building Museum, and saw a really wonderful exhibit on green residential architects called the Green House. And that exhibit is no longer up. It was a temporary exhibit. But Michelle Kaufman's work was featured, and we felt that um, her work would be appropriate for an urban dweller. It was modular, and um, it would be perfect for the site that we had here at the museum. Okay. Who would you say that this uh, exhibit appeals to primarily? You know, this exhibit, just it's only been open for about two weeks, and it's multi-generational, but it's also gender neutral because you know, people love coming with their grandkids. We have lots of school groups booked for this. People that are considering building a home or renovating their home, there's ideas really for everyone on every budget in this house. Okay. You think it, it's geared more towards um, responsible living, sustainable li living, or towards the well-being and comfort of the inhabitants? Is, is, there, is it tilted towards one or the other? You, you know, I think we found the balance. I think um, when you go through the home, you'll, you'll understand that it is a perfect balance. And we really want people to make thoughtful, informed decisions after they leave the home. Okay. Um, part of what's interesting about this is that it's a, a prefabricated modular home, which is kind of, it's still kind of a novel concept. Um, can you explain a little bit uh, the assembly process and, and how this was how this came about? Well, we um, identified All American Factory, which was in Decatur, Indiana, as our partner to build the home. And um, they have a, um, a wonderful factory and they have a great reputation. And we worked with them to build the home and it was only in the factory for about eight weeks. Then it was trucked up here. There's seven modules in this home. It was trucked up to the museum. It took one day to assemble the seven modules on top of each other, and then another day for the, I'm sorry, another week for the button-up work for the home really to be secure on the site. Okay, so it really only took less than two weeks to assemble. The well, there are some other things that we did on site just because we wanted to make sure that um, everything was done and there wasn't any issues, such as the tile. Um, sometimes the tile is installed at the factory. We installed it here. The bamboo wood floor and the tile floor, we installed that here on site. But a lot often that's done at the factory. The kitchen cabinets were installed at the factory. The sinks, the toilets, the bathtubs, all that was done at the factory. Okay. Um, and what about the landscaping? Um, you, you said that there's some innovative technology. Well, because this home sits in a beautiful park right on Lakeshore Drive, we really felt um, that we had to tell a landscaping story as well. So we have a water catchment system, we have a green roof um, on the home, but we also have a sustainable vegetable garden. We're working with the University of Illinois Master Gardeners, the extension program, and they're here three days a week tending the garden. And um, all the produce that is... Um, is that what all that? Yeah, that's, that's what that okay. is. Um, okay. All the produce that is produced here will actually go to ABJ Community Services, which is a local food pantry in Hyde Park that accepts fresh produce. Um, are there any, any key things, uh, features of the home that you've noticed that, that people might take away from this, that, that visitors come in and say, wow, I want to I wanna trap rainwater when I go home to, to my place, and or I want to install a green roof or something like that? Well, I think when you go through the home, um, the other thing besides green technologies, there's also smart technologies throughout the home. We partnered with Wired Magazine. What does that mean? 
Well, we have um, an energy monitoring system in the house that you'll see, and you will understand in real time how much energy you are consuming in the home and how much energy the solar panels on the roof are producing. Okay. So um, that is demonstrated and explained in the home. Um, we also have some really fun, interesting gadgets throughout the home, such as a house plant that um, actually calls you on your cell phone when it needs to be watered. And after it's watered, it calls you back and says thank you. There's an umbrella in the home that actually can um, forecast the weather 12 hours in advance. So when you leave for work in the morning, if the handle's blue, you know to take it to work that day because it's going to rain. So there's some fun, cool, interesting gadgets in the house as well. But it's all um, really um, a great story of energy efficiency and you understanding your energy usage. Okay, great. Um, how much would a place like this cost if, if I wanted to have this built in Chicago, for example, to have an estimate? Um, not including the land, the, this home would run between 450000 and 500000 Okay. 